Palm Beach's only private island asks a tiny amount of $218 million. Like, dear God, like the kind of money that some of these people can end up spending on these stupid properties is insane. Because think about it. One, who the hell has the type of money to spend $218 million? Two, would that person even spend any amount of time on a private island like this? Like, God. So if you've ever wanted an island entirely to yourself off of Palm Beach, now is your chance. The man-made 10 Tarpon Isle, which includes a soon-to-be-completed 21,406-square-foot massive mansion, has just hit the market for a humble $218 million. That's up from its $210 million asking price last year. We reassessed the market, explains listing broker Christian Engel of Christian Engel Real Estate, who says the new price also reflects the fact that the home is closer to completion, slated for early next year. Now, it's also interesting, right? Because let's say that they actually are able to get the 210 Oh, 218 mil, uh, hold on. 218 million dollar asking price, right? So typically, I think real estate agents will make about like 3% of the listing price. So let's see what this individual might make from this. So from this one sale alone, uh, Christian Angel or Angle could potentially make $6,540,000 from the sale of this property if he were to ever actually get it sold, which is a really big if. So developed by Todd Michael Glazer, the 11-bedroom home sits on 2.27 acres. Let's see. And the thing is, I mean, it looks cool, right? Like, I'm not going to lie. This looks cool. If I was like living a Grand Theft Auto life where I got like a billion dollars cash in the bank, why not, right? But like, <laughs> this is the thing. You got to be making or worth so much money for this to even remotely make sense, right? Now, I could potentially see something along the lines of like, maybe you're like, you're one of these like massive wealthy CEOs and you buy this property but you basically run your whole business out of this property in a sense like all the like this is where you have your main office I can see maybe something like that maybe justify something like that but as like your personal residence dear lord so the jaw dropping spread includes 15 full baths and 7 powder rooms along with a library, theater, wine room, gym, sauna, massage room, hair salon, multiple pools, and a lighted tennis court. And you know what? This is like a sad, like a sad thing that I see a lot of times. It's like with these massive homes, when they're bought by like these super rich individuals, I don't even think that they enjoy like any of the amenities of the property, right? Like a lot of the times, the individuals who spend this type of money for these properties, one, don't step foot on the property typically, but if they do, maybe they'll stay there for a month and then like sell it like a year later or something like that and try to get more money. So let's see. It includes the Bedrooms and baths in the attached guest house, which was originally built in 1939 by architect Howard Major, and is being renovated and partially demolished with the help of West Palm Beach architect Roger Jansen. Glazer and his investors bought the island for $85 million last year, the first time it changed hands since 1998, according to reports. So let's see some of these comments. 
Plenty of room there for our illegal gifts. Maybe 200 or 300 can live, th- live there comfortably. Plus, once they get to Palm Beach, they can simply wade, swim out to the island. Okay, Everything beautiful and subtle about nature has been stripped away. All ruler straight lines like a prison. Definitely designed for a person with zero taste and refinement who has spent their existence grubbing for nothing but money. And now here's another thing too, right? When is enough money enough? When is a big enough house enough? Because like, this is the $218 million. Like, how is a like $2 million home not enough for you? How is the like a $10 million mansion not enough for you? How is like a $50 million mansion not enough for you? Like, oh yes, yes, I I must get this $218 million home. Yes, I must have that. He's like, why? Let's see. You would think climate change, rising seas, and deadlier and more destructive storms would make this property worthless. Oh, well. I'll take two. Storm surge. The earth can handle the needs of the many, but not the greed of the rich. Money emoji face. Hmm, about three feet above water level. Watch for the next hurricane. It's going to be interesting. Resembles the Celine Dion residence in Palm Beach. Sold for pennies on the dollar. Enough of this craziness. Interesting. Like, who knows who's going to buy it? I mean, feel free to give your thoughts on this if you stumble upon this, because I have no clue who on earth would spend this type of money, right? But also, who would even have, like, enough money to even spend on this sort of thing? Hold on. Let's see. See inside apparel honcho, 16.84 million. Live like filmmaker, record holder, airy gold in LA. Let's check out this future one. Why not? Rapper future rolls into 7.5 million Bentley branded Miami home. Wow. So the 39 year old rapper and songwriter future, I'm surprised he's that old, otherwise known as Ney Vedius Demon Cash is in contract to buy a splashy spread for just over $7.5 million at the Bentley Residences in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, from Gil Desert, CEO of Desert Development, which built Porsche Design Tower. The tricked-out oceanfront pad comes with a private pool on the terrace, one of the largest in the building, and a 1,500-square-foot, four-car sky garage on the same floor. The Desivator and Elevator takes you and your car straight to your unit. You can see the cars from your living room, thanks to a glass divider from the garage, Desert tells Gimme. It's a unique system and is what sold many people on buying. In other buildings, the valets know who is coming and going. This is more private. And here's the thing, I think for security reasons, this might actually be a good idea for him. But at the same time, right, I don't know, like to me, if I was, if I had the money that this individual did or does potentially, I would not spend like nearly eight million dollars to live right next to people. Like, I don't know, me personally, like, why? Why would I want to do that? Like, oh yes, I want to spend eight million dollars to deal with nosy neighbors like think about that for a second i want to spend eight million dollars so that i have to deal with karens like what so at six thousand square feet features future apartment features three bedrooms and three and a half baths along with a terrace that is just under two thousand square feet it's the perfect place to have parties desert says the 62 story Ultra luxury tower boasts 216 units and will be completed in 2027. 
Abundant building amenities include a three-story lobby with ocean views, a gym, spa, pool, a lobby bar, and a restaurant, a whiskey bar, a private dining room, a movie theater with seating of 14, decked out like the interior of a Bentley car, a cigar lounge, a game room, and a kids' club. Let's see some of these comments. There it goes the neighborhood. It's all so convenient until someone's EV catches fire. Where do they get the money? Is every rapper a multi-millionaire? I actually know a lot of these rappers aren't actually millionaires. A lot of them just have like a lot of loans that was prepaid to them by their uh, music industry companies, right? So like, I don't know, like whatever record company might like sign a rapper for like two million up front. That rapper technically got a $2 million loan, not cash. Thus, they are basically fronted the $2 million so that they could use that $2 million to basically try to make more money so that they could pay that back plus actually end up turning a profit. Like The whole music industry is really screwed up, but there's a lot of rappers that seem like they're rich, but really it's all fake. Only the ones who are dealing drugs, the rapper act is just a cover. Potentially, but at the same time, Future has been doing the rapping thing long enough to where he probably has made a few million dollars, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million even. But at the same time, how smart is he with his money? Because even with someone who made a lot of money, which is uh, T-Pain, he made a lot of money in his career, but lost it all because he just assumed that he would keep making that type of money every single year, but it wasn't the case. What goes up must come down in the future. With all these hurricanes, global warming, and sand shifting in the future, we shall be reading about the sea, taking back what belongs to her. Interesting. So feel free to give your thoughts on this. Personally, if I had $8 million to spend on like a cool pad, I probably would not be spending $8 million just to have neighbors Personally, I'd probably buy like an $8 million. I'd probably spend like $4 million on like a massive compound slash farm thing. That's kind of like where I could build like a castle on it. That's just my personal taste because I think that'd be kind of cool to have like a castle with like a moat. And you have like a drawbridge. I think that'd just be kind of cool. 